When his autopsy came back, it was cocaine, heroin, but it was the fentanyl that killed him. Frankie McCaffrey was a good kid, happy, loved, easygoing. <laughs> was, anyway, he was just a great kid. He was, he was loved by everybody. And actually, this is a lovely photo of Frankie when he was four years old at our wedding. In his 20s, he began using drugs. He changed. It stole away his whole personality. It wasn't Frankie anymore. It was something, somebody completely, it, it just stole his whole personality away from all of us. When Jeanette McCaffrey, an OR charge nurse at Emory University Hospital, realized her son was using heroin, she and her husband sent Frankie for inpatient treatment. He was there three months. She hid from her coworkers what her family was going through. But I kept it to myself, you know. And why? Because, because of the stereotyping. I don't want people to think Frankie was a loser, because he wasn't a loser. Oh, it was, I think it was here, here. And I realized I had an addiction that was becoming a problem when I couldn't do anything without doing dope. Like so many families, Jeanette was doing all she could, even on the night of Frankie's fatal overdose. You know, he came back that Friday night, we talked and, you know, didn't even talk that much. I even did a urine test on him. I said, Frankie, if you come into, into the house, we've got to make sure you're clean. Did a urine test on him. And um, that was negative, so it was all fine. She didn't go downstairs to his basement bedroom until the next day. That's something I have to live with. I was in this house while my son was dying downstairs and I didn't know. I just didn't know. I had Narcan right here. If I knew, I would have, you know, but I didn't know. I just didn't know. <laughs> 